Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Epic 2. Uh, this is map number 23 and it's called Oasis. And uh, I already did a commentary for this, but I didn't I didn't like it. I wanted to do it again. It just didn't feel natural. But um, once we kill the chain gunners and the specters, we can uh, open up the door to the fort. Uh, all of the action pretty much takes place in this one complex of uh, rooms and buildings. It's really cool. This is a hard fight. You have to manage splash damage and, and also manage uh, Hell Knights behind you. Bam. Maybe I wasted a little time switching to the uh, shotgun there, but it's okay. It's all good. Hey, the Revenant killed the uh, Hell Knight for me. That's pretty cool. I duck in here and I tried to get the uh, the chain gunners to fight, but they uh, they didn't. Too bad. So I gotta do everything myself. up doing my uh, school auditions uh, for uh, for orchestra because I play uh, classical bass and they were pretty easy except for this one uh, excerpt from Beethoven's third symphony and if you don't know what excerpts are it's basically like every instrument has its own written part and uh, there are certain uh, sections of symphonies that are really like famous or notoriously hard. And then those are the ones that they make you play for auditions to win uh, to win orchestra jobs, or when you're in college for uh, for like orchestra seating. So we uh, we fight our way up here while everything down below in the main area is just teleporting in and starting a huge infight. This will uh, this will kind of be Doom Guy's like safety zone. I come back here if I ever need like a breather or uh, like extra health packs or anything. That, uh, that hidden switch will lower the megasphere. And then uh, there's this arch file that we have to contend with. Yeah, ammo's tight. It's tight for the whole level. It's messed up. Kind of hard what to tackle uh, to know what to tackle first. Um, yeah, because there's just so, so much going on. Uh, but this room is actually one of like, one of the hardest rooms in the map. There is basically this fight where you have to uh, kill an arch file that's resurrecting Mancubus uh, corpses. Yes, yeah, so there they are. I try. I try to uh, make the arch file spawn in early so that I can only only have to kill the uh, banks once, but that did not happen, unfortunately. So oh. 
Oh, and then I forgot. I forgot about the Mancubus. Uh, <laughs> I paid the price. Almost paid the ultimate price, you know. I love uh, I love Archfile's unique paint sound. I think if they didn't have that paint sound, it'd be a lot harder to fight them, because uh, you wouldn't know when they would uh, be stunned. Stunning an Archfile is a big deal. There's maybe only a three percent chance that a uh, that a, a hit will uh, stun it. I tried to go for a secret, but the imp scratched me with its infinite height. That'll happen if you're on a ledge and a monster is below that ledge. You uh, you won't be able to get down. It'll just be able to scratch you with impunity. great actually after my audition because uh, even though I'm primarily a classical musician uh, my, my secret dream is to be able to like uh, play in jazz bands and uh, like you know be able to sit in on jam sessions and all that and after my audition I ended up being able to do that with some recent graduates who were like hanging out in one of the practice rooms I just randomly like knocked on their door and I was like, yo, this shit sounds fat. Uh, Cause one guy was playing drums and one guy was playing soprano saxophone. And the saxophonist actually had the same name as me, which is pretty hilarious. So um, yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to do it again because they both uh, they both like have real lives and aren't students anymore. But it was still uh, it was still cool to be able to do that. Even just to know that, like, I'm not gonna be, uh, complete, like, an anxious wreck or anything. Uh, this, uh, <clears throat> like, the speedrun strats for this map are, like, uh, like, get everything that will ever teleport in this room, in the room, and then start killing. Uh, but my health was really bad. And I really wanted the secret megasphere. Um, you know, I'm not a speedrunner. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am just a, uh, I'm just an amateur. I think the, uh, the respawning chain gunners were kind of, um, kind of silly. Uh, in this one, because neither of the revenants actually died. I don't know. Finally, we're able to go to the, uh, the secret. We get a backpack, uh, which is great, because uh, ammo is tight. Ammo is going to get even tighter as the map goes on, too. That's right. Yeah, so really cool jam session. No, I was even able to like call some songs, you know, because like with, because they didn't have any sheet music or nothing. <laughs> they were all just like, hey, you want to want to know some, want to play some tunes, you know, what do you want to play? And uh, thankfully, I knew a couple, you know, because uh, I'm not like super uh, experienced in jazz yet. I will be the more I uh, the more I start like you know doing it um, seriously again because. I took some time off uh, after high school, jazz-wise. But uh, yeah, it was really cool. Some Thelonious Monk, some Miles Davis, and they were really good. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely good to have people to uh, look up to in terms of playing. You know, guys who are like older and more experienced. I find I learn a lot more just um, watching people play 
than I do, or playing with people than I do, like, in lessons. That was a sweet, uh, that was a sweet fight. I really liked it. So this is cool. This is like one of the only, uh, like water textures used in the map. And it's weird because, um, you'd think like a map like Oasis would be a lot more, uh, I guess, um, you know, vibrant, you know? But to, so to me, the uh, the idea of like an aging like dried up oasis is very uh it's so, like very somber and it gives me the uh it, mental image of like as uh the water dries up all of the monsters uh become increasingly aggressive and increasingly desperate uh for resources so that's why this map is just so uh so tense and, and and there's so much like fighting going on it, it literally is like a scrape all the monsters are so densely packed oh i messed up so bad in this i should have had the plasma ready uh and i pay the price <laughs> i get blasted but even though i got blasted i got the arch to kill himself so you can do that because arch files aren't immune to splash damage and so the explosion that they generate actually hurts them so if they're low enough health they can uh, they can suicide so health not looking great and um, actually the red room the red uh, the red path is also a really hard part <laughs> This entire map is just hard. Yeah, I do not like I do not like when mappers do this. Uh, when they put like high walls or high uh, high ledges with uh, with monsters like looking down at you. It's extremely hard for uh, for you to be able to see them, let alone hit them with your auto aim. Thankfully, uh, infighting is helping me out a little bit. I do like the music in this. I think it's pretty interesting. And uh, it's kind of dramatic too. Oh my god, I fell down. I can't believe it. I can never uh, do those platforming That's right. those sections in the first try. I always need uh, to like do it again because I fell down or missed a jump or something, you know. Okay, a kind of low key fuck this room. Uh, I do it very slow. Again, speedrunning strats do not uh, factor into this at all. Because uh, it's extremely hard and there's just nowhere to run. One at a time. Don't need to worry if you're fighting them one at a time. Oh, I got so tilted because I grabbed that medikit at 95 health. <laughs> I remember uh, getting really frustrated during uh, this part. Um, but thankfully, it turned out okay. Yep, just one at a time.
All right, here we go. So there's the arch file. As soon as the arch file ran that way, I, I like my body and my mind entered like this state of zen. I just knew that I was not going to die. Uh, and I finally, uh, I finally beat this room. This room and the uh, the room with the mancubi killed me like a whole bunch, probably ten times in total. Because uh, this is my thirteenth take, which is a lot. Probably the most yet, I think, in terms of how many tries it's taken me to finish the level. But yeah, we survived. So we're basically made in the shade at this point. Um, there's just a couple more fights. And ammo's running low. Um, so gotta be careful about that. It was just kind of hard to know uh, how to deal with the Arachnatrons in this part because I was just running low on everything, so I was just trying to weapons juggle a little bit. Uh, because this next room is like filled with barons, so uh, I'm, I know I'm not going to have the ammo to deal with them. And I don't even I don't even have a berserk or a chainsaw or anything. I'm literally <laughs> literally bare knuckles. And th th there's nothing. I've used up all the pickups. Do I sit down and die? No. I go in there and I grab what is mine. And I run out without a scratch. Hell yes. And then I waste two rockets immediately. <laughs> I was very careful to meter out those last three rockets to that Baron <laughs> so that I wouldn't miss. Couple more Archies. This room is kind of cool too. It kind of reminds me of um, like a like a temple. Um, I don't know. When, when I go through this wad again, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna uh, get an idea of what everything is more than I more than I think I paid attention to it my first time around. That was a dirty trick. Also, what he did, making me like he gave me rockets because it was like, ooh, maybe you'll want to use the rocket launcher, and then immediately dropped a pain elemental right in my face, so I'd blow myself. Dirty, dirty trick. I had two more enemies, one more secret. I'm pretty low on health, but it's okay. the last monster gonna be it's a cyber but this cyber is uh, way less dangerous than uh, the last one because he had no entourage and that's everything we are done all right so 
that is map 23. If I were to pick a map that this reminded me of, it would be map number 16, uh, DNA Replicate, which is the one that had the maze that constantly opened up to reveal more monsters. Just because of the, uh, like the proximity each monster had to itself. Except this map was a lot more, um... Uh, like, a lot more just, uh, like, aggressive and just raw. Like, every monster was, uh, just in a bare-knuckle scrape, uh, for survival. So, really cool, really interesting. Um, alright, I'll see you in map 24. Peace.